interested or roped into it. Like, like me. My roommate, yeah, like you, but like my roommate today watching me play it. Um, she was watching. We started it today, and she's like very invested. Like yeah. I find it that like when I was decision puffed up on the screen, she's like, "What are the choices?" And then she's it's like, "Choose that one. Choose that one." We're like sitting there arguing about like what choice to make, and it's very cool. It's awesome that I think it's people again, yeah, who aren't generally drawn into the video game genre mm-hmm. are able to be so influenced by yeah. one as such, like, like that one. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, we didn't do our pops. Yes, thank you. You're all Because uh, we did. I was like, we have a checklist. If you guys didn't watch our first episode, we were really bad at the intro. We're, we're a mess. We're just really excited, you know? We got really straight into the first topic, and then without introducing ourselves, talking about our pops, um, we're going to do that differently. We have reminders this week. I'm a little fun, helpful And document. I brought my laptop that has Facebook open. Like, guys? So if you look at, if you see me looking, I'm a... On Facebook. She's on the Facebook. I'm Comment on the Facebook page and she'll give it a like. Like, this is live. Like, we're filming. <laughs> I mean, I'll still do it. Go to our Twitter. Go to our Twitter. We're okay, well, we'll okay, get that. We'll do that. We'll plug that at the end. That at the end. No, All right, so, anyways, so before we move into our topics, um, for those new to the show or for those returning, um, you may or may not know we have a little segment where we like to uh, introduce our little pop bundles of the episode. Um, our fun little. Figurines. Our fun guys. That represent our fun interests. Not even interests of the week. We just literally right before the episode go, what pop vinyls do we want today? And we go, we'll do this one, this one, and this one. All right. Who we got first? Uh, we have Peter Pan. Uh, my favorite Disney movie of all time. Everyone's like obsessed. I don't get it. Big fan of Peter Pan. I don't know either in the grand scheme when I think about it, but like. Whatever. You want to live forever. Starcatcher series. One of my favorite book series. This is uh, Leanna Mormont. Uh, she is a Game of Thrones character. Oh, um, yes. Um, I chose her because my topic is slightly related to Game of Thrones today. So um, click away now. Just no, kidding. stay. Just, I was kidding. Stay. Don't leave me. Jokes. This is comedy. <laughs> Humor. Comedy podcast. Um, and then uh, Maeve from Westworld. This is Maeve from Westworld. I picked her because she's a prostitute. She is. I have very like weird inner crisis, crises, crises, crisis, crisis. Um, inner dilemmas about how I feel about Westworld, but one of the one things I'm 100% positive about that I absolutely do adore was the character of Maeve. Um, she's so complex. She's so good. And she's I can't so wait good. to see what uh, her deal is. Ooh, Next Super Bowl season. trailer? Super great. I didn't see it. Oh, what? I don't the watch later. the Super Bowl. I literally only watch... Oh, I watched it after. I did not see it during oh. the Super Bowl. It was one of those things where I was like, here's the commercials you missed. And I only like clicked through the ones that like... Gotcha. Gotcha. Shows are movies I wanted to watch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So moving in to our first topic, which is my topic. Your topic. I want to talk about um Star Wars and All Game right. of Thrones. What about Star Wars? What well, a topic. Earlier last week, right? What a hot button. Like we're issue. filming this on Sunday, the eleventh. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. About a week ago. Right. A little less than a week ago. It was announced by Disney and Lucasfilm that the uh, showrunners of Game of Thrones, David Benioff and D.B. Weiss, um, have been signed on to write and produce a new set of Star Wars movies. No way! Yeah. Um, which is cool. I'm a big Game of Thrones fan. YouTube list, YouTubers, look at that. Listeners, I'm showing hold it, my... Hold it, hold it, hold it. He I, has a, the a dire House wolf, of Stark. House Stark tattoo on my wrist. Yeah. It's my one and only tattoo I have right now. And Big Game of Thrones fan. He fainted. I did faint the first time I got it. That'll be a story <laughs> for another time. Um, You'll probably never hear it. I'm open about it. I'll talk about okay. it someday. All right, Anyways, um, so um, it came out that they're going to be making a new set of films. We don't know how many films. We don't know exactly what the deal is. Oh, so um, more than one, though? It's, I think I it's mean, definitely more than one. We know it's plural. So okay. we have films, but we don't know if it's a new trilogy. We don't know if it's, um, like, I don't know. Yeah, okay. we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Um, anyways, so there's a lot of kind of, like, debate about it, and I'm seeing a lot more positivity than negative negativity. Um, but the reason I chose to talk about it was because I personally have, not issues, I don't want to say issues, like, I'm very excited. Like, as I said, I am a fan of Game of Thrones. I love Star Wars. Uh, but just because of this release of information, there's some stuff that I've been thinking about, and I just want to talk about it. Well, I know nothing about it, so, yeah, so tell let's me. let's get into it. Yeah. Um, well, first, I want to read... I uh, don't know, I basically just explained it. I was like, okay, I hang on, hang on, hang on. There might be, like, some pounding. What are, what are your neighbors doing? Do you hear that? That has been going on for that? a hot second. 
Whom? Whom is doing this? All right. Oh, well, no, okay, go so. on. We interrupted this podcast for nothing. You can't even hear it. No, I do hear it. I totally picked it up in my headphones until, like, you said it. Great. It's very faint. Our voices are definitely more short. Watch now. I'll play it in the thing, and then it'll be way more. All right. We'll figure it out. Tell me about we this Star Wars thing. So anyway, so yes. Um, Deadline reported that they're making a series or a set of films. We don't know what the deal is. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so the main things I want to talk about, I have three big things I want to talk about. Um, in regards to it, the first one... Wait, uh, wait, wait, first of all, have you seen all the Star Wars movies? I have, yes. Um, oh, in order? I don't know if I've watched them, like, I've rewatched them all, but I don't, I've never done, like, one big sit-through watching. Wow. Big fan. I don't think I've seen them all. I've literally seen none. I've seen all of them, plus Rogue One, oh. which is the, like, the only main movie, and then Solo will be the new one in May. Okay. Anyways... So, my first big thing with them being the writers, because everyone's very like, ah, yes! Game of Thrones writers! Everyone loves Game of Thrones! They're gonna make a Star Wars! We all love Star Wars! Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. Oh, there's a thing. Game of Thrones, and I say say everything about Game of Thrones and Star Wars as a place of love, because as I've said, I do love both. There are definitely influences in why I'm so interested in working in the entertainment industry. Uh, The first one is Game of Thrones was good. It still is. It's so good. Like, yeah. I love Game of Thrones. So excited for to come back. Sure. But the original, um, and I saw a few people tweeting this as well, and I was like, yes, agreed, completely. Um, it was really good in its first few seasons. Uh-huh. And that was mostly because it was based on the books. The book series written by George R. R. Martin. Well, the books are not all done, so the show has now reached a point where everything, all the new episodes, yeah, are original episode. ideas yeah. by these two, yeah. by D.B. and David. Um, so, everyone's like, they're so good. Game of Thrones is so good. And you're like, yes, and they're, they wrote the scripts. George helped with some. But, like, they were basing their TV show that was such a hit on something that already existed. Right. Now the Game of Thrones has become more original. I mean, I, I apparently I think some ideas are George's notes for what's supposed to happen, but like for the most part, they're the ones writing the story now. They're not basing it on books that already exist. Oh, interesting. There's interesting. no like framework for them to be like, okay, like this character needs to go A to B to C. They can just fuck it. They're up. just doing it nice. now. It's nice. all it's up to their creation. Like a dream. Um, so to me, it's like a little worrying that I'm like, okay, like cool, they're gonna write Star Wars, but it's not like they're. Like, the Star Wars universe exists. Right. But it's so broad that I assume it's going to be something pretty new that I'm like, will it be good? We don't know. Yeah. Last Jedi had a lot of negative reactions Mm -hmm. that I'm like, ooh, let's keep the hype down, y'all. Let's not get too crazy. Wait, what? That wasn't Rogue One. No, Rogue One was last December. Not this past, uh, December of 2016 was Rogue One. And gotcha. this past December was The Last Jedi. Oh, they're just, just cranking them out. They're, it's becoming a Marvel thing, which goes into my second point. Oh, my God. Ooh. Which, like, okay. Obviously, Star Wars. Like, this, reading this article, I was like, great. More announcements from Star Wars. More freaking announcements. And, like, I get it. Obviously, Disney is going to purchase Lucasfilm, going to take Star Wars, because they know they can make money off of it. They know people are going to come and... Shame. Watch like, these. Yeah. But like Marvel, think of how many Marvel movies and superhero movies there are. Like every year. Too many. A lot. Too many. Love Marvel. I have definitely lost don't. track. Because, yes, which I get. Like now for people. Cheers I have, for hating Marvel. Cheers for hating Marvel. <laughs> it's just intense. I love Marvel. Super excited for the Avengers. But there's a lot where it's just like, it's too easy to miss. And it's like, y'all, you can't keep playing me like this. Like you can't keep expecting me to keep tuning in. Now that I have the movie pass thing. It's a little easier, but I'm like, I can't keep doing another Marvel movie every few months. Because especially now they've reached the point where it's like, if you miss one, you kind of miss a little bit of details for the next one. Because they're what? all building off of one another. You can, you can only do that in television. Don't it's, do that in movies. That's annoying as hell and nobody yeah, appreciates it. It's crazy, but that's a whole other topic for another day. Um, but so, listening to this. So right now, I remember someone tweeted, Brian Altano, who is a person from IGN, who I follow on Twitter. I can't find, I'm not going to find his tweet right now because it's been a few days. But I remember he was like, all right, guys, with this announcement today, here's what you need to realize of how many unreleased Star Wars movies we know exist. And I, it was like uh, the new Solo movie, which is coming in May, which is a Han Solo movie. Okay. Um, there is uh, apparently an Obi-Wan Kenobi movie that is coming what at some point. What a fun thing. He was movie. a nice dude. We love Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, ben Kenobi. 
Um, there's Ryan Johnson, who just did The Last Jedi, I think is confirmed for a new... Tri he's confirmed for a new series. I believe it's his own trilogy, unrelated. So that's at least three more, so we're at five. Five. And then we know um, this new set of movies that are now coming from the Game of Thrones fellas. That, like, hurts. As a person who literally could care yeah. less... Couldn't care less. It's just, like... I... It hurts. And don't get me wrong, like, they could all be phenomenal, and as long as they're great, like, give it to me. Like, I'll take good content. But at the same time, I'm like, don't run it into the ground. Especially watching The Last Jedi, and I had a few issues with it where I was like, oh, that didn't feel right, and it felt very franchised and Disney-fied at times. I was like, don't hurt something so good, you know? But that's what they do. But that's and why that's, Disney buys things and does it. That's what happens, is the mouse runs the universe. And <laughs> the mouse is a Jedi. He is that's, well, how a Jedi it? or a Sith Lord. Wow, what a question. He would definitely be a Sith Lord, because he buys up all the fun <laughs> things and makes them awful. And just and makes them a part of this growing empire. Yeah, and then everyone goes, yeah. wow, surprise. So then finally, my last note... Um, which I have to give credit to my roommate when I was talking to her about it the other day when all this stuff was coming out. When you say roommate, I always think it's me. Is that selfish? Oh, Isn't no, that sad? Because you are still my roommate. Oh. Like it's a title you hold. Yes. Forever oh. my roommate. Um, no, but um, Maddie, my lovely roommate Maddie, she was pointing out that what's crazy is how it's another set of white males that are going to be leading this franchise. Which is like Which not, is a, not surprising at all in it's the just like, at the least. Especially with Lucasfilm being oh. run by our good friend Kathleen Kennedy. It's just like as a woman who feels who has in reached such a spot Oh, I thought you were referring to yourself as a woman as in today's society. <laughs> no, I'm speaking I'm speaking oh see this sounds bad like Speaking for Kathleen, yeah, as a male, as a male, <laughs> speaking for a woman who runs uh, Lucas. Now what I mean, but thank like, you. To me, I'm just like Kathleen, as a woman who has worked so hard to reach the point that she has the the position that she has achieved. I'm like, what did you want? And not saying like we don't know. There could be a billion other little secret projects happening where there are more female or diverse um, individuals being involved in projects with Lucasfilm and Disney. But it's just like, don't you want to help others? reach the same position that you've reached and achieved. Mm -hmm. um, and that's not saying we should totally take away from, like, I mean, it'd be like, if someone told me, like, hey, we want you to do Star Wars, that'd be great. And But it's like, I don't know. It's like, add and diversity. I think, I think you were telling me before that she yeah. was saying she wanted to... Um, Which I believe, that's what Maddie said, yeah. Hire more diverse It's like, when she took on that chair, she's like, you know, this is an opportunity to take on and bring in use these opportunities to bring in a more diverse voice mm -hmm. of gender, sexuality. Um, but maybe do you think hiring these white men who um, did Game of Thrones mm -hmm. of power, do you think that um, that'll help? See, I don't know if it'll help so much as it's more just like, to me it's a total cash grab of like, we know people love Game of Thrones, let's get the people who run Game of Thrones to do Star Wars because you know you're totally pulling at that entire audience, which is gigantic. And it's also, like, there's been a, a lot of controversial subjects that have happened on Game of Thrones that weren't in the book material that mm -hmm. they based episodes on, um, where it's, like, uh, like, a lot of, there were a lot of um, rape scenes involving women, like, in Game of Thrones that are not part of the books, and they are very much, like, and in the, there's just, like, the writers and post-interviews and stuff would be like, well, yes, like, this moment, it was her being at her lowest, realize I definitely hate that they're using, using rape as a it's as the a, lowest as a plot device and I hate that where it's like oh like the only way she can become strong is, is to be raped to be raped I like, it's hate awful that. and so that's why it's like it'd be one thing too if I was like they have a beautiful track record on Game of Thrones and there are many strong female individuals in Game of Thrones but there have been those moments where you're just like they don't know like they don't get it completely yeah. Sure. And maybe sure. they've learned their lesson. I will. I mean, I'll be there and I'm going to watch whatever they produce for Star Wars unless the first five Star Wars movies that come up before then are awful and I'm like, wow, Star Wars, I'm writing you off. Mm -hmm. um, but it's That's just like, I don't know. It's Yeah, it's weird. It's just like, especially if you are going to pump out all of these films, 
like take a chance on some like do like bring in new voices to contribute to what is a great franchise already mm-hmm. you know I agree yeah I don't know that's my thoughts on our first topic it's kind of a clusterfuck of thoughts but I don't know I'll watch it I'll see it when it comes out I will not <laughs> but you love Star Wars <laughs> yep seen every episode Every single one. Every episode. Yeah, I wrote one. They're technically episodes. Are they? Yeah. Oh. Episode one, two, three. See, the reason I don't watch them is because well, my nice family story. used to, um, well, my dad owns, like, the box set on yeah. VHS, uh, and they would watch them while I was sick, oh. and, like, when you're sick, you don't you're sleep in your room, you, you, you sleep in the, in yeah. the TV room, yeah, no, I and that. they would just uh, make me watch it, and I go, I want to die. Yeah, no, I understand. So. I completely get Now that. when I hear Star Wars, I'm like, death. Vomiting. Yeah. Um, it's just an unfortunate... And now I'm going to be thinking uh, white males. White males. White males. Equal Star Wars. Mm. Time is up! Mm. 2018. 2018 time's up! Time is up. I, but really, she could have done better. We'll see. I mean, it's still brand new information. One of the bright... Th- or the good things someone mm. did point out, which I just thought about this. This was out of my notes. Um, they were working on a new series for HBO called Confederate. I don't know if you heard that buzz, where oh. it was like... They were writing a series about... It the was Confederacy? Super, it was and super America? controversial. What? It was going to be in America where the South won. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. If I two have, white men. If so I like, have heard... That is the worst it idea. It was just a big thing. So that was one silver oh light that didn't come out. I mean, there are a lot of exciting things with Star Wars. Star Wars was <laughs> just great. But one thing that everyone was like, okay, well, I'm not going to complain against that is because they're taking on the Star Wars project, they've unfortunately possibly have had... To, I don't think it's been confirmed... But the rumor is that they are now dropping that project at HBO to go work on Star Wars. So everyone's like, "Good, <laughs> wow!" There was so much controversy with that whole thing, and it was what just like, the fuck? "Oh, please don't!" <laughs> oh, nobody, please don't. nobody asked for that. One hundred and ten percent. And I forgot. I know there was a big blow up with it, and they're like, "We're still gonna move forward." No. And it was like, oh. wait, who did it? Hulu. No, HBO. Oh, HBO. The Game of Thrones showrunners. Like, after Game of Thrones wrapped, they're going to work on this Confederate series. But now, because of Star Wars, they're not. That's honestly the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I think the, con- I sorry, the controversy was when there was the whole big debate with America about removing the slave, slavery-inspired, um, like, uh, statues and monuments around America. And everyone was like, look at this big deal. Like, don't make a Confederate TV series. <laughs> and then they were like, we're still going to move forward with it. God. But now they're not. And I hate that... It's because that... Ugh. I know. It's like, just I, so much I hate it. that they were like, we still, like, are passionate about this, but Star Wars. But, yeah. like, if Star... Oh, like, it's just stupid. Wow. Whatever. We're done. We're okay. still... We're gonna go into a more fun topic, guys. We're gonna take a quick... Quick... I can't talk. We're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna dump the footage on the camera onto a hard drive. Then we'll be right back in literally a few seconds. Bye! Bye! With a more fun topic. <laughs> Don't leave. It's going to be way more fun. We're going to talk about the Kardashians, America's favorite family. You love the Kardashians. I love the Kardashians, y'all. Everyone just turned off our podcast. <laughs> Cheers to the Kardashians. <laughs> See you in a you. second. All right, and welcome back, everyone. Hey. I hope you didn't miss us for a whole point. One I second. sure didn't, Edward. Oh, wow. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me. <laughs> So, for our second topic, a little more lighthearted, possibly more disgusting to some. I don't know. We'll see. Um, we're going to talk about something that was really big last week. It was last Sunday. A lot of America was talking about it. Oh, it was a week it. ago. Yeah. Oh. It wasn't the Super Bowl. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was it like- was <laughs> Kylie Jenner's baby video. Ah! Nobody cares! It's crazy. So, uh, for anyone who may have been in the dark, uh, bless you, because you escaped a lot of it. There were rumors swirling a lot of, at the end of last year, that Kylie Jenner was pregnant, and she refused to comment. Talk show hosts were trying to get out of the Kardashians. She dropped off all social media. We hadn't seen her face until that one ad. I don't know what it was for. Wow, look at me, um, researching the topic. But she was in some ad, but, um... Mysteriously, her stomach was always covered up. And so we couldn't, we didn't know, and everyone's like, that's proof. And guess what? We're right. We're We're right. America's always right. So on Sunday, uh, the morning of the Super Bowl, which everyone keeps saying, they're like, wow, Kris Jenner knew. Kylie was like, I'm ready to release the video because the baby was born February 1st. And Kris Jenner, we all know, was like, no, sweetie. 
we're releasing it Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> Apparently, it was Ooh. record-breaking. The amount of views this video yeah. received on Instagram. Crazy. Her, her, not the video, but her baby picture was like yeah. the most like picture on Instagram. I remember on Super ever. Bowl Sunday, like, I think it beat off the views for like all the Super Bowl commercials or something. Like, it was wow. insane. Yeah. You know, I'm surprised though that TMZ didn't like get anything. Like somehow, right? TMZ found Casey Anthony. <laughs> Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. When she went into witness protection program and we were wow. like, found you, bitch. <laughs> gotcha. Um, <laughs> but they couldn't do that for this? No, but it, and I also like it. It was like a, a exclusive content. Like, Chris was like, we can make an e-special. And Kyle was like, no, I'm putting it on my YouTube. Mom, <laughs> like, I want those views. Um, so we f- I found out moments before filming. We weren't exactly sure what our t- second topic would be. And I never know what and, my topic's going to be. And my roommate was like, Oh my god, the Kylie video. And we're like, it's Allison's second topic. That's my, that's my topic. So what we're going to do, we're going to have Allison live react to uh, the video called To Our Daughter, um, which was released on Kylie Jenner's video last Sunday. Um, hopefully the audio won't be too crazy. We kind of tested it before. If not, we'll lower Yeah, it. I've never it's seen it, and I'm excited. So I want you to like, live react. Feel free to say things. Oh. Feel free to do what you want. Oh, I'm I, gonna say shit. I have... Watched it once, and when I say I watched it, it was playing in the room while I was getting ready for the Super Bowl because I was having friends over on Sunday. Okay. So I've heard a lot of it, but actually seeing stuff, I haven't. So this is gonna be like a live so it's kind of, both of yeah, both of us. Yeah. Um, Whoo! I'm nervous. Do I even offer? Part of me is like, if you want to watch with us, we'll put a link down below. Why not? Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Duh. I'm also just like, Ugh, more views for this video for what what? I don't need. Whatever. But join us if you like. If you like tuning in with us. If you've never seen it, or if you have, or if you want to see a or baby, feel or, free to listen to our thoughts. I think Chris Jenner's half naked in it, so that's she fun. I think so. No spoilers. Okay, cool. I haven't seen it. How could I spoil it? I don't know. Oh, okay. Cool. All right, whenever you're ready. And I just want to say, so if they want to hit the space bar with us to start. Go. Go. Oh my God, it's black. <laughs> I was gonna say, all I remember is how dramatic it was, like with the music. Like, it sounds like miracle music throughout the whole thing. Oh my god, Chris, like. She looks so different. Oh, yeah. now she looks like herself. What? It opened with Chris Jenner, I think, giving birth to Kylie. In the beginning. I didn't know that. Oh! I fucking hate how disgusting babies are. Oh my god, look at Chloe! Yes! <laughs> oh, girl, and her little suspenders, yes! Oh, babies are so gross. Oh, that was back when uh, Caitlin was. What was, his, what was Bruce. her name? Bruce. Who's this? I think it's one of Kylie's friends talking. It's like the whole video is them talking. What the fuck the is baby. on her head? Why does she have. What? <laughs> can you hear this? I can. If you can, you can turn it up. I want to see if you need to. Ew! <laughs> no, he needed to see them making out. Like, this is the story of how your parents fell in love, so them making out the club. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What are they doing, though? Oh, I don't know. Oh, they're massaging each other's hands. They're in love. Romance is not dead. <laughs> love is real. I fucking hate those. It's also like I remember someone made the joke like I love that they're like oh it's we're vlogging. Like it's very like documentary style but you can tell like you know like they have like their team come in and they're like no you're gonna document this event. Yeah. It's like no. This is a baby. Oh yeah bitch. Like Kylie Jenner was 20. Oh my god. No, I told my um, co-worker that, and he's like, well, she's fucking rich, so that shot's I gonna know. be fine. She's gonna be great. I mean, also, I feel like in that family, where they're constantly, like, everyone's having babies, I'm sure you get wrapped up in, like, baby fever. <laughs> Girl, he isn't like, cute! I just hate that Kylie Jenner, first of all, people think she looks busted, but, like, she's adorable. Oh my god, is that North? Is that... Who is that? Who is that, Saint? Saint? Oh my god. First of all, do we just pause? Like pause. pause. Um, talking about Kim Kardashian's children and yeah. how beautiful they are? Yeah. That's it. That's all. Unpause. Unpause. Okay, so there's a lot of... Who even is this fool's name? What's his name? I don't remember. I can look it up really quickly. Yeah, look at all. I should know that. But this is, this, the whole video, at least like five minutes of it, how, how far are we in? We're in two minutes of it, but five minutes... <laughs> A 
of that two minutes are them Travis like, Scott. Travis Scott. Rapper. Kylie Jenner. Rapper on just like boyfriend of Kylie Jenner. Like holding on and off. Well, yeah. he's gonna have to stick around now. You knocked her up, dumb bitch. Anyways, they just keep like they wanted her holding each other, and I'm like, love is dead. Oh, we're looking at the ultrasounds. Ah, oh, she's pregnant. <laughs> Bad, but every single teen, not every single, but like teen that got pregnant just like loves it. I don't get it. Yeah. I just can't relate. I would never. It is interesting. And I mean, like, I definitely know there's people out there who are naturally like, like to me, there are, I know people that are like meant to have babies because that's like what they want to do and they're great mothers now. They mm. have at a young age. But there are definitely some where it does always make me nervous. Oh, she naked. Like, um, where it is very much like the like it thing, and you wonder like how many young girls are like I'm gonna have a baby because all my friends are having babies. Oh no, I didn't even think about that. They're probably like Kylie had a baby and she's doing great, and look at this beautiful video of all of her family and friends yeah. supporting her. Listen, kids, she's so rich. Yeah. She can pay people to support her. Oh my god. She's so excited. I don't know. She basically was like, I already run a makeup empire. What else can I do now? <laughs> Let's have a shot. I'll have a baby to leave all my money for. <laughs> oh. oh. That freaks me out. Oh. It was just out of her stomach and the baby did something that made her stomach Kick. Hurt. The baby kicked. What do you mean the baby did something? See, the I was in like horror movies when they had like the baby's hands like press up and move around against her stomach. No, you've heard that for the whole thing. almost like, it's more than supposed to eat that when you're pregnant. I don't know though. I mean I know you have craving. Aren't you supposed to eat think about Aren't you supposed to eat like broccoli covered in chocolate? Like why are you going I don't know. Walk it in and out. Don't eat now. Alright, pause. I don't know if I can finish this. We're gonna do it. Halfway through. Halfway through we're gonna do it. This is just too We are committed. I don't think I care enough though. Like this dude Obviously has no idea what's happening. It is weird, yeah. And all of his reactions, I'm always just like, are you happy? I feel like the men in like, uh, 16 and Pregnant, is that, oh. was that a show? Or like, I don't know, they all like, are like, I I'm that's his mother and she's really happy. Of course she is. She's a woman. She's like, women love babies. Forever. Look at that. Oh, oh my, my god. god. That was awful. It that was, was the worst. It was like a latte, seen. and the little design made on top of the uh, the cream was uh, <laughs> a fucking baby bottle. Baby that bottle. was stupid as hell. I hate this family. Wow. I was like, did they have like a color dress code for the baby shower? Like, yes, rose, you know they did. Like rose gold. Yes. Powdered pink. Yes. Look, they're oh, all wearing the exact no. same things. Wow, I definitely did not see this. Oh, oh that they're all wearing jeans. Oh, they're more goldy. She's more pink. They're all the jeans. Oh my god, they're having babies at the same time. No. Oh, they're probably, I. I have no. I have no thoughts. I have no thoughts. I'm watching this brain dead. It this reminds me, like, these little shots of, like, the pregnant friends, like, all together. It reminds me of, like, remember that show? I remember seeing commercials like, about, like, the pregnancy pact? Where everyone, it was, like, a, a scripted show about a bunch of friends getting pregnant together. Yeah, man. Uh, that's what it reminds me of. Like, oh, we're all I mean. Oh, my God. What? Oh, the baby, baby, like, sweet potato fries were the regular <laughs> she fries. She told her. Right? <laughs> She's like, Mom, don't give me that. <clears throat> this 
is killing all my brain cells. I know I've been drinking like beer this entire time, but I <laughs> I can't handle this. Like I don't even know if I can speak English. Oh, don't show. That's one of the pause. That's one of the worst things that I can ever see in public when couples, mothers, uh, rub their stomach. But they're like. The when they baby. rub their stomach they're and they're like, the baby. Well, or like in movies when like the men like kiss the mother's stomach, like this is our child. Like to me, disgusting. Look at me, this millennial just talking about shit she doesn't even know. But like, I stop rubbing your stomach. We get it. It's huge. Yeah. Like her butt, it like proportionally yeah, like cancels same. out her it's butt. The same. Yeah. That's how she's not. Look, he just kissed her stomach. Her stomach. Oh. Oh, the, they bought baby Nikes. Oh my god! <laughs> That's so many shoes! The baby's never born? So yet. many clothes! Oh, it's a girl. Oh, yeah, wait! It's yeah, girl. it's a girl. Yeah. Who's that? Is that Shai? Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Chicago? Why does she have so much hair? Was she born with a full head of hair? Weird. Those Kardashians, they Weird. Oh. oh, she is kind of cute. I love babies. Wow. She, see, I'm the opposite, but that one's pretty cute. Obviously, it's a Kardashian, so. I love babies after, like, a week. When they're newborn, they're like, ooh, put that thing back where it came from, or so help me. But, like, <laughs> once they start developing a face, and they don't look like aliens, you're like, okay. You are so lucky. Why was this? You are why so is this lucky camera to be born into, into such a wealthy into empire. Into Kardashian. Yep. Into the world's most powerful family in America. Crazy. Why is the film quality so bad? That's the weird thing too. It was it's so like, good. And they they wanted to be shit. like home video type. I think I assume was the inspiration. Let's see. That's all I can assume. Because then this is. Or no, is this still? Yeah, no, this is perfect. Still? This is beautiful. Yeah. It is in a weird, like, out of focus as if you're watching, like, a 90s home video. Listeners and watchers, that's what we're talking about. Oh, she's about to have, it's gonna pop out. She's about to have a baby. It's happening. <laughs> Who directed this? That's what I'm saying. I am so Ryan awkward. Ryan Seacrest, executive producer. I'm awkward, I can't. He's there with the video camera just filming them. That's funny. Almost done. <sighs> like, I'm. It so is right though. We looked at we're like, how long is this video before we turned it on? And we were like, we thought it was like 20 minutes. And it's really only like 11, but it feels like 20 watching it. I'm so empathetic with Kylie right now that I feel like just watching this is like the same pain as giving birth <laughs> pain. to a child. Wait, and that's rare, because I was like, you hear her. Like, it's her giving birth. Oh, never mind, she doesn't make that much noise. I was gonna say, I heard nothing. That but sounded fine. No, it's gonna happen, though, because then you got suddenly hear the baby crying. We're talking like, oh, over it! I want to hear the baby come out of the vagina. Hold it till ten. Oh. Gummy bear. It happened. Okay, can, can I just say that sounded like the most easy. I tell you, which it made I've me think about like I feel like whenever they have babies, I mean I don't know about Ember's experience. But well, remember, because their vaginas are so huge, I bet they have like huge vaginas that just like slides wow, right out. I just remember the video when uh, it's my over. family was still, I hated it. <laughs> Zero out of ten stars. <laughs> but no, I remember. Like, when Courtney gave birth to Mason, her first baby, the first, like, Kardashian prodigy to be born, I remember, like, on the episode, she literally, like, leans over and pulls him out of her. Like, just, like, does it so easily. What? They filmed that? Yeah, it's on the episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Oh, my God! Yeah, way back when I used to watch. That's tragic! I know. It's crazy. But, yeah. That's so, why I don't watch that show. That's awful. Sure? You're out of ten stars. What's that? I'll give it some stars. I'll give it two. I'll it is. Two stars. I don't know. It deserves something. I thought it was, like... If you're a fan of Kylie, I thought in the grand scheme of things, I'm like, that was a cute video. 
in the okay. way of like, no, no, really. Like, no, right, I right, don't like really. it. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking off screen because my roommate's listening to us on the stairs and she's like, really? <laughs> but just like, I think if he you're a it. fan, no, oh, absolutely not. Like, oh, I will never watch that ever oh, again. Well. But I think it is a cute thing for like Stormy, <laughs> which is the name of her daughter, Stormy, to watch someday. But then it's also, I think, like, to me, not only is it a cool, like, keepsake for them of her documenting it, but it is to the fans of, like, sorry for keeping you in the dark. Sorry that, like, I wasn't open with all of you. No. Sorry there's all these rumors. No, I, there was Here's no apology in there. It. No, there was no apology in that. <laughs> that was just a whole publicity stunt. Like, I don't, I oh, don't. Oh, absolutely. I am not saying it's She doesn't care. She doesn't stunt. care about the people who follow her because no one <sighs> follows her. Like, that's not, that's not why she did that. Also, it was shitty. Also, they have people, fi- they literally pay people to just, like, film them oh. all the fucking time. Why didn't they do that with this? I say, no, I don't think they pay them. They get paid to be filmed. Well, the, you, you know. <laughs> but yes, is. no, I understand. And then this, like, looks like um, a fucking toddler pulled out the baby's first cannon. It was like, <laughs> like, like tell me, <laughs> tell us what birth means to you. Like, oh, dumb as hell. I don't know. Part of me is like, I, hate it, I get it. Oh no, I am no, not. No, part of me. I won't watch it. I am not. Part this of is, this male is like, yes, I understand. No, I think I'm childbirth. like. It was a cool thing to document and show to the world. Do I think knowing at the end of the day, it was totally like the fact that they released on Super Bowl Sunday, I'm like totally just getting attention. Um, is it totally just to like, like as you said, I do agree with her. It's the publicity stunt because now people are gonna be like, Kylie, yes, and anyone who wasn't already. Sucked into buying all. Everyone's like, products. "Who cares?" Like, Get she's over a mom yourself. now. I have to buy her makeup to support Stormy. Um, <laughs> First of all, we didn't even see like her emotion. We didn't. We didn't even see her reaction to like giving birth. She like barely. She ba- all she did was stand there, like eat in and out, rubbing her stomach, and like saying the baby like sweet potato fries. I'm positive that yeah. the sound of that baby crying is a. Oh, and the track effect. Like the end is it. That is not because you don't hear her crying. You don't hear yeah. her pushing. You don't yeah. hear her. That's that what I'm saying. She was very helped. quiet. That was like that. The sound of the baby being born was definitely taken, and then she was there. probably yes. making like really scary noises, and then she was like, "That's not cute." <laughs> and then she like cut it out, and then just they were like, "Ooh, yeah, right. that cry not cute enough either." Listen, right. Right. people. Bunch of their babies crying. It's also important to know. That nobody in that video had anything valuable to say. It was yeah. their own. That's what I'm saying. I felt no emotion in that video. People told me, they're like, did you watch like the Kylie documentary? I cried. There oh. Was, I felt oh, nothing. Oh, no. That just looked like oh, no. her eating junk food, posing in silk pajamas. Oh, absolutely not. I mean, Chris's birth video of Kylie was like better than Kylie. We didn't see I think because that felt. It? I think because that felt more authentic in it a way. It was authentic. <laughs> that was authentic. This shit is not her. I bet she just got pregnant. Like I'm not saying she doesn't love her child. I'm so sorry. But like, listen, this is just like this is. I don't know. I'm Let's speechless. Say, I'm speechless. The amount of brain cells that that video contained in our yeah. exactly, no, yeah. exactly. It wiped my memory. I don't know who I am. That was the the, the I don't. Mm. Um. People who watched with or didn't, um, who've already seen it, uh, do you think it's a load of shit or are you with Edward? I, I am a not, cinema masterpiece. I did not say that. I just said I'm, I know there are people out there who did love it and I'm happy that they have it. By no means am I saying I support it. I am a fan of it. I will never watch it ever again. I never planned to watch it again until it was this topic. All right. Well, <laughs> now I'm all. So you want to watch the next one? There's a part two. Hop. After she announced the name. Are you actually a first I'm fucking kidding. sin? <laughs> yeah, I'm. Oh. <laughs> after she announced the name, and everyone's like, "You named your daughter after a porn star." Oh, is that a thing? I think Stormy Rain is a porn star. Googling it. Stormy, and I think the reason she changed um it's, her name is because it's S T O R M I. No, no, no. I think she changed it to an I because it's like, no. <laughs> Johnny just came back into the room and is pointing at Elsie, going, "She's right." Yeah, yeah no, it's a, it's a porn star. star, Stormy Rain Valentine. Oh 
Stormy R Valentine. And then the reason why, well, I don't actually know, but the Around reason why they changed it to an I is because it's like, oh, it's cute. And what is it, Stormy Webster? Like the fucking dictionary? Like that kid's going to be able to, do, like, do they know words? Have they read a dictionary? Is that his last name? Is that his last name? I don't, I'm not sure, but that was my instinct. It sounded very hip. It sounded like a dumb, bullshit, like, She's ready white for Instagram. Girl. Out of the womb. White, We're ready for the Instagram. White girl middle name. Yeah, exactly. She's ready for the runway. She's ready for my the gram. Stormy gram, gram. Ready for the gram. Instagram. All right, I'm done talking about her. All right. Done. Cool. Well. Never again. I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy. Well, I'm not. All right. Yeah. Great. I'm actually. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Thank you, guys. Um, Thanks for listening to me scream about... And Johnny was guest star, Johnny. Yes, shout out to our guest pop-up star, Johnny Louise. Who agrees with me 110%. So I agree with you 95%. All right. Um, But before we go, let me open my list to make sure we don't forget anything. So far, we've been on an okay track record this episode, Allison. I'm doing pretty good. Is it still recording? Yes, it is still recording. It's Mm -hmm. doing this dumb... I think it's like I forgot to delete the last part from the last video, so it's going over last week's episode. Yes. For some reason, it's not tracking it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, um, or listening. Yep. We really do appreciate it. Yep. A lot of you have been giving us feed- feedback, whether it is just, like, personally, whether it's through private messages. Um, please feel free to be more public. Let us know in the comment section on YouTube what you think and what you want us to talk about. Yeah, tell us how awful we are so we can see it. So we Show can- your fucking faces. Let us know. Embrace your hate comments. Um, if you are watching on YouTube, please feel free to give us a thumbs up. Again, leave us more comments. Um, just showing more activity. Um, let's others like us and like you find our content, which is great. Yeah. That's cool. Great. Yeah. Um, follow us on Twitter, as Allison said at the beginning. We do have a Facebook page. Our Facebook page, uh, at Media Jerkoff, is definitely more just like, hey, there's a new episode. This is what's happening. Our Twitter is more, a little more fun and a little more, it is updates, but it's I'm also. going to be shit posting. Yeah. A lot. It's a lot. Like, of, I almost tweeted about how bad this fucking documentary It's a lot was. of tweet throw up. Um, but please, yeah, definitely follow us on there. At Media Jerkoff as well. Um, as always, also feel free to reach out to us, um, at our personal social medias or on the main app. No, don't talk to me. (laughs) Just let us know. Let me know. Um, what you guys would like us to consume media wise. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. 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 We love you so much. Thank you so much. Bye. For watching and listening. We'll see you for our next session. Yay. I'm excited where I watch, um... I was going to make a joke. I didn't have anything. Okay, bye. The I'm sequel to ding, the Kylie Jenner video. Ding. The Queen of America. Ding, 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 ding. Princess ding. of Genovia.